Hi, I'm Cassie, and I'm short. I'm five foot three and a quarter, and I'm a rower. I get it all the time. Ugh, oh, I'm too short. I'll never be a good at rowing, or I hate rowing, I'm so short, or of course they're gonna be great at rowing. Look how tall they are. <sighs> yeah, you too? Well, let's talk about it. I'm Cassie Neiman. I'm a You Can Row To Master Rowing Instructor, and I'm here to help short people get their most effective stroke. So you're short. Ugh. We've been dealing with it our whole life. I feel ya. What can we do to get the most out of every stroke? I'll be honest, tall people do have an advantage. They have longer limbs, which is gonna give them a longer leg drive. They have longer arms, which is gonna give them more reach. So really with less ability, they may be able to do more. But when it comes down to it, I really think there are three things that make up a good rower. One, technique. That's kind of the biggest thing. Two, strength. And three, aerobic capacity. So technique, that's pretty much the biggest one. If you row well, then you will go far. Okay. That's kind of the base level of everything. Strength, that means you're going to get this flywheel moving real fast and get the most out of every stroke. Aerobic capacity, once that flywheel is moving, you're going to keep it going for as long as you want. So if we can put all of those together, or even two of those together, we're probably gonna be a pretty good rower, as long as one of those two includes technique. Although, if you're strong and you have a lot of aerobic capacity and you don't row all that effectively, you probably still will row pretty well, <laughs> or you'll get good times. So, you know what the great thing is about those three things, is they are completely trainable, meaning we can change our status in all of those things. You know what we can't change? Our height. So if we focus in on those things, we can get the most out of our stroke and focus on the things we can control. That doesn't include our height. So when it comes to technique, what we want to talk about is getting a long stroke, the longest stroke that we can get with our height relative to every person that sits on this machine. There's a couple things that are going to help you get that. One is making sure your feet are in the right place, making sure the straps are over the ball of your foot so that you don't get all caught up on yourself, right? Two, you're gonna straighten out your legs and you're gonna adjust your butt cheeks so your sit bones are down into that seat. We wanna make sure that we're not sitting high up on our butt because that's gonna actually make us shorter. So sitting up nice and tall out of those hips so that we can get the most amount of reach forward and get as much length as possible, that's the way we wanna do it. So when you're in this finished position, really focusing on getting the arms away, getting that body swing over so that we are getting that reach forward. If we stay in a vertical position, we're making ourselves even shorter. So getting that body over and then controlling our recovery into the catch. We don't want to rush up into the front because we may want to row a little bit slower with a shorter leg. The leg, the recovery portion may be shorter. Let's take advantage of it. Control the recovery up into that catch position. Once we're in the catch position here, we don't want to end up in a vertical position. So we want to keep the body over to get as much reach as possible. We don't need to overreach. Don't need to make that compromise. But we also want to make sure we're in a strong catch position with our shins close to vertical and the heels close to the foot stretcher so we can get the whole foot down and get the most out of every stroke. So that's what's going to help us get a long stroke for however long our body may be. The other thing we can think about is that, yeah, tall people have an advantage, but mass moves mass. So we can use our body weight, our own selves, to kind of produce more power. When we're up at this catch position, thinking about hanging your body on that handle as you push down with your legs. So focusing on that strong stroke, right, which leads me into the second part, is how do we produce a strong stroke? We start in a good catch position where we can push our 
push the machine away and hang on that handle into the finish position. What we don't want to do is end up pulling because that's going again to shorten our drive. We want to utilize the legs as much as possible. So thinking about that good connection here at the catch, getting the feet down flat as soon as possible so that we can push the machine away and get a good strong drive. In general, the stronger you are, the better rower you're going to be. So working on that strength training in other ways is also going to help the shorter rower. The aerobic capacity, that comes with practice. Lots of rowing, lots of time on the machine. So in the end, it's like that old saying, it's not the dog in the fight, it's the fight in the dog. If you're short, you just have to be more deliberate. You have to get the most out of every stroke. You have to get as strong as you can get. You do as much rowing as possible. That's what's gonna take you to the next level. It doesn't have to be about your height. Your job is to be the best rower that you can be. Get the most amount of length out of your stroke. Be the strongest rower that you can be. Produce the most amount of aerobic capacity as possible by rowing again and again and again. And then, just like what you do. So my short friends, please don't hate rowing. It's here for you. It's here for every body.